How to Enjoy Junk Food in Moderation Enjoying the occasional indulgent or junk food treat is appropriate when eaten in moderation. Although junk foods do get a bad rap, many of the negative side effects of junk food, like weight gain, are usually associated with eating these types of foods on a regular basis. If you just eat them occasionally or in moderation, you can still enjoy them without worrying about whether or not your weight or overall health will be affected. Learn to enjoy your favorite junk foods in moderation and keep them in check so you can maintain a healthy lifestyle. Part 1 Including Moderate Amounts of Junk Food 1. Decide your definition of moderation. If you're aiming to work towards enjoying your favorite junk foods in moderation, the first thing you'll need to do is define what moderation is for you. Come up with a very specific definition of moderation. It needs to be specific so that you stick to an honest plan and aren't able to cheat and eat more junk foods than you should. An example of a specific definition could be, I will allow myself to eat two individual bags of chips with lunch every week. Or, I will allow myself to eat three small, individual candy bars after dinner every week. Or, I will allow myself one lunch out per week with co-workers without worrying what type of food I order. You may want to try the 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the time you stick to nutritious, whole foods, and 20% of the time you eat whatever you wish. With this method, you don't think of foods as good or bad or that when you eat something unwholesome you are cheating. Make sure you stick to your definition of moderation. It's when you're slipping or cheating and eating more than you should that junk foods affect your weight and health. 2. Follow appropriate portion and serving sizes. If you're going to include the occasional junk food treat, it's incredibly important to make sure you're following the appropriate portion size. Eating a small serving of chocolate, chips, or candy every now and again isn't a big deal. The small serving size keeps calories, fat, sugar, or sodium in check. Eating large portions of junk foods or multiple servings in one sitting allows junk food to wreak more havoc on your overall diet. You may be eating way more calories, fat, or sugar than you realize. Make sure to read the food label of whatever junk food you choose. Specifically check out the serving size. If your favorite junk food are cheese puffs, you'll need to count out how many cheese puffs are in one serving. Or if you're getting a bag of candy from the vending machine, read the back of the label to make sure that single pack is one serving and not two, or more. 3. Go for the real deal Although this may seem counter-intuitive, if you're craving your favorite junk food, go ahead and eat the real deal. Don't substitute a low-fat or diet version. Many food companies are making low, calorie, diet-friendly or healthy versions of many junk food treats. Although this may help you stick to a lower-calorie diet overall, these foods generally don't taste as good as the real thing. Sometimes, these lower-calorie diet foods, don't really, truly satisfy your junk food craving and may cause you to overindulge when you do eat them. Instead of going for diet foods more often, stick to your plan of moderation and enjoy your favorite junk foods. 4. Take precautions if you have diabetes. Things are a little different if you have diabetes, as you will need to be much much more careful about your sugar intake. Try to limit your junk food treat to twice a week. Be smart with your carbohydrate choices, trade out a carb at dinner for your dessert carb instead of having both. Exercise can help keep your blood sugar levels stable, so make sure you are exercising regularly. Try going for a walk when you know you plan to indulge in some junk food. Do not eat sugar or carb, heavy treats on an empty stomach. This can cause your blood sugar level to rise faster than normal, or you may overindulge. Eat treats alongside a meal or right after. 5. Choose junk foods that have some nutritional benefits. 
Although many junk food treats aren't overly nutritious or are considered healthy, there are some foods that do offer you a little bit of useful nutrition. Go for dark chocolate. Dark chocolate has been shown to have antioxidants that help calm and relax you in addition to supporting a healthy heart and vascular system. Choose whole grain chips. If salty and crunchy is your thing, choose whole grain chips. The extra whole grains will give your snack a little extra hit of nutritious fiber. Grab a bag of trail mix. Usually a mix of roasted nuts and dried fruit, trail mix can get a bad rap if it contains candy pieces. Choose trail mix with dark chocolate chunks to get the added antioxidant benefits of the chocolate in addition to the protein and healthy fats provided by the nuts. 6. Track your definition of moderation. After you've experimented with your created definition of moderation, make sure you evaluate it to ensure your junk food indulgences haven't affected your health. Track your weight. Junk foods are typically higher in calories so if they're eaten too much or too frequently it may make you gain weight. If you notice you're gaining weight, you may need to re- Address your definition of moderation and decrease your overall consumption. Also track blood sugars or blood pressure. If you have diabetes or high blood pressure, these conditions can be affected by the consumption of salty or sweetened junk foods. If you're having difficulty keeping these numbers within normal limits, you may need to decrease how much you're eating your junk food. 7. Limit your intake of junk foods at parties and social events. It can be difficult to stick to small portions of junk food treats at certain events like parties or potlucks. Prepare yourself for these situations and use tricks to keep your consumption under control. Use a small plate. Whether it's an office potluck or a football party, higher calorie junk foods may be the only option. Use a small appetizer plate to serve yourself some of these foods. This will help keep your portion sizes smaller. Only allow yourself one serving or one trip with your small plate. Going up multiple times or getting multiple servings is when things can get out of control. Try to find a healthier, lower-calorie option like raw veggies or hummus and eat these foods first to help decrease your hunger and fill you up with fewer calories. Part 2 Managing Junk Food Cravings 1. Come up with healthier swaps Craving junk food on a regular basis can be hard to deal with. If you're looking to minimize your junk food cravings or limit how much you typically eat, try coming up with healthier, more nutritious alternatives. If you typically eat junk food on a regular basis or crave it, Make healthy and enjoyable swaps instead just giving up junk food completely. If you typically crave something sweet, try these healthier options, yogurt with fruit, a small fruit salad sprinkled with cinnamon, a small serving of homemade granola, 1-2 to two ounces of dark chocolate or 1, for a cup of dried fruit. If you typically go for a salty snack, try whole wheat pita chips and hummus, whole grain tortilla chips and salsa or beef jerky. 2. Start your day prepared for snack time. Prepare yourself every day for a potential snack craving. This can help decrease how often you choose junk food. Preparing yourself with healthier items may help you decrease the temptation to go for a vending machine snack. If you typically have a snack every afternoon, come prepared with a home-packed snack or stock your office with healthier options. If you have these on hand, you're probably less likely to get a junk food item. 3. Drink more water Drinking adequate water is a good idea if you typically feel hungry throughout the day. This can help manage your junk food cravings. Many times, when we feel hungry, we're actually just thirsty. Sometimes we confuse these two signals and end up eating or snacking more than we need to. Ensure you're drinking adequate fluids throughout the day to help prevent even low grade dehydration. Aim for a total of 8 to 13 glasses of water, flavored water, decaf coffee, or tea daily to stay hydrated. 
4. Address stress and emotional eating. A common reason people crave or go for junk foods is when they're feeling upset, stressed, depressed, and even bored. Try to manage stress and other emotions to minimize this problem. If you notice yourself craving junk food or reaching for it more often when you're feeling down or upset, consider working on managing your emotional eating. Things you can do include talking to a friend or support group, going for a walk, drinking a glass of water and distracting yourself from your craving temporarily. In addition, consider talking to a counseling or behavioral specialist if you're having trouble curbing this type of eating behavior. 5. Don't give up junk foods completely. Although it may seem counter, intuitive, telling yourself you're giving up junk foods forever, this thought process can actually backfire and cause you to overindulge or binge on these foods. Telling yourself you're never having your favorite junk foods ever again is not a smart move. Typically, after a period of intense restriction, the next time you encounter your junk food or just have a bite or two, you'll overeat or binge on that food. If you're trying to limit your junk food consumption and eat it in moderation, make sure that you include the occasional junk food so that you don't overdo it. In addition, having the occasional junk food or unhealthy treat is okay and considered a normal part of eating. Tips To be able to eat some junk food and still maintain a healthy weight and lifestyle, really stick to your definition of moderation and be honest with yourself. Also, don't feel guilty about indulging once in a while. Having a tasty treat is a part of normal and healthy eating.